great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3-0. and 2-1 oh. and one after the foul ball there. And that's upstairs running the count to 3-1. and one. He's having a really hard time finding his rhythm and finding the strike zone. It's going to allow this offense to keyhole him in big situations. He's got to figure it out pretty quick. High in the air out to center field. DeShields is there. He's got it, and there are two down now. The next twin up, Nelson Cruz, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Nelson. Fawns now the pitch. Drilled to the left side. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. That is good. The third baseman, Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. Hit hard to short. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Striding in, Cesar Hernandez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. Now the pitch. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. Two balls and a strike to Cesar Hernandez. Count is two and one. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. That's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Half swing here, but it won't matter. It's strike three called anyway, and that's out number one. So the base is empty here with one away. That'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop and perennial MVP candidate Francisco Lindor. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Low with a fastball here in the dirt, even. It's ball one. Well, there's the classic 0 2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. Hard hit at third. In time to first, and there are two away. Digging in, Jose Ramirez. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Ramirez. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. There seem to be different philosophies on it. So, Dan, what was your approach at 0-2 counts? My philosophy is this. I think the last thing you want to do is throw non-competitive pitches, Matt. Throw something down in the zone or just out of the zone. But something way out of the zone doesn't serve any purpose. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. Ball three. Three and two now. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0-2, started nipping at the corners, and next thing you know, this count stands at three and two. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. The next 3-2. And he fouls this one off. And it's fouled away. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. 
Ball set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the dual threat of Shohei Otani. First pitch coming, here it is. And no swing, apparently, ball one. Hard hit ball to second, fielded cleanly. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. And he runs that one high and tight for ball one. Two and oh now. Two balls, no strike. The pitch. Outside, three and oh now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. No score here as we play inning number two. Three balls and two strikes to the twin center fielder. And there's a base hit on the line. And they're able to get the ball in quickly, so he'll be held to a single with one away. Batting it. The first baseman, number 22, Miguel Sano. Here's Miguel Sano. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. And he watches a cold strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. Hey, you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone or you're going to ground into a double play. Ball two with a sinker that runs off the inside. Sinker, three and two now. Got to believe that runner from first is going to be in motion, especially in this situation. As an offensive player, just hit something hard because those defenders are going to be moving. Go to Santana, the double play, and that's out. And that'll bring in Fran Moraes. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. The designated hitter, Rodney. First pitch of the at bat. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's 1 and 1. Hit the target, but this is low. 2 and 1. Started to go around, but he's able to check his swing for ball three. If he doesn't shorten his swing up right there, there's no chance he keeps his bat back. Full count, three and two to the Indians' DH. Three and two strikes. Ah, got him swinging on the split fingered pitch, and that's out number one. Now in the box, Carlos Santana. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Uh, very difficult to be a switch hitter in baseball today. Without question, the more comfortable side being from the right side. So he's going to have his work cut out for him here, hitting left-handed. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and that misses 1-1. Two and one to the Indians' first baseman. Bottom of the second here with no score. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got the count in his favor. Three and one. Now the three and two pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. Oh, 
batting fifth. No Stepping field. in now, Josh Naylor. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. Naylor is a first baseman, of course, but he can also be found in the outfield, as is the case in this one. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. The 1-2. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Striding in for the Indians, Jordan Luplo. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. From the stretch, fouled off. Santana is off of first with two away. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. Well, he's been laboring a bit through these first two innings of work. That's... 37 pitches and ideally he'd be closer to 27 instead swing and a miss as the slider sets him down settling in now Mitch Garver and he'll start out there half of the third top of the order to follow in there and it's 0-1 0-1 Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. The 1-1. One, one. Hit hard on the ground to the right. Santana's got it, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Digging in for his second at bat, Eire Adrianza. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. First pitch coming, here it is. Third inning, no score to this point. Two balls and no strikes. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. The 2-1. Will not catch the zone. Ball three. Line drive to left. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. Now that second base. At the plate, Luis Arias. This is pulled into right, and that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Kepler. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat into right field that's a base hit and a good throw is going to hold that runner at third so they're loaded now with only one away and that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz he swings and lines it to left that's in there base hit one run scores and they'll hold that runner at third, so everyone moves up, and they remain loaded here with still only one gone. Josh Donaldson digging in now. He swings and grounds it to short, and that's through into center field. Base hit. One run is scored. And the run is in to score from second. It's a 3-0 game. Now that the left field, Joe Hay. Matt Whistler is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Next up, the two-way Japanese import, Shohei Otani. No balls in one strike. A one pitch on its way. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet. But the bases are loaded with one away. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton. 
as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one and a big hit here with the bases loaded could really put this one out of reach early on. Here's the one 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 and two now. Whistler is about as stingy as they come in terms of a bullpen arm. He's proven very difficult to hit, and it's a rarer thing still to see multiple hits against him. Yeah, Matty D, and you wonder why it's so hard to score off of this guy. He's nearly impossible to get three or four hits in an inning to score a run. He keeps his walks per nine inning is it really down, and you look at his hits per nine inning pitch, it's no wonder. And the throw is in time to get him to retire. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Roberto Perez. The first pitch on its way. The wind up and the 0 1. Oh, straightened him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east west we came up playing. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Roberto Perez is retired for the first out here in the bottom half of the third. The pitch. Delino De Shields is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Nope. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Half swing, but it's strike three anyway, says the home plate umpire, and that's out number two. Number seven. In now Second for Cleveland, base. Cesar Hernandez. He looked to bounce Hernandez. back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one, and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. 0 oh, and 1 the count. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. Now a check swing here. Did he go around? No, says the third base umpire Patrick Johnson. It's ball one. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he got another one here. He strikes out. Digging in now, Mitch Garver. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Garver. Now a fastball. Look out as he has to duck out of harm's way there. That misses 2 and 0. That's a good job right there. You very rarely see pitchers double up where they go a pitch inside. Normally they'll go back outside, but he followed that up with another pitch on the inside part of the plate. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. And the throw is there to record the first out. Back to the top of the order now, and A. Ray Adrianza will be the next to bat. And he pours this one in at the letters, 0 and 1. And there's ball one. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit, and bury that inside. It leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. And there's out number two. Stepping into the box, Luis Arias. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. 
called strike at the letters, 0-1. This could be a huge win for the guy on the mound if he's able to get out of this inning, 1-2-3, and start fresh next inning with the middle of the order. DeShields is there, and that ends the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop, Francisco Lindor. Francisco. A bouncer up the middle, reined in. And the off balance throw will be too late, so a good effort that time, but it's an infield single. Now batting, the third base Ramirez. Into the box now, Jose Ramirez. As he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. These are the moments in the game that can sway it one way or another while you get a W or a loss right here. Leadoff man on, heart of the order coming up. Guy out on the mound, this guy's work cut out for him. Now the 2 0. Freedom. This inning hasn't started ideally for him on the mound, but here on 3 0, you have to have the mentality that you're only a strike and or a ground ball double play away from getting back on track. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Now back the designated hitter. Run here. And now Fran Reyes. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. No runs, three hits, no errors to this point for the Indians. Behind 0 and 2 now. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Nope. To two balls and two strikes now. All right, no more hope, and he's going to chase. It's two and two now. You've got to come up with the best pitch right here because this is definitely a strikeout situation. Swing and a flare hit toward right. In comes Kepler. Now a dive by the right fielder, but it kicks off his glove. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Now back, first baseman, Carlos. And when in doubt, he'll just step off and bluff that runner back to third. Here's Carlos Santana now. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Kepler's on his horse. He's there to make the catch, and here comes the runner from third, as this should get him on the board. And that'll put him on the board as it's now a three to one contest. Stepping in, Josh Naylor. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. First pitch of the at bat. And this is cut on and missed below the knees, and it's 0 1. Hey, this is a spot as a pitcher right now you want to get a little bit greedy. Ideal would be to roll up a two ball. At worst, try to get yourself a strikeout. One and one the count now. That's taken for a cold strike two. Yep. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. This is pulled into right. Catch is made. Runner tagging from third. The runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip away at their deficit. It's now a three to two oh contest. Standing in, Jordan Luplo looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Hit back up the middle. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Max Kepler. Max Kepler. And he got him out in front that time. Strike one. There's a fastball well off the plate inside. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. And the pitch. 
And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Fouled away. Now the three and two pitch. Is in there a called strike three. Now the number four Minnesota hitter, Nelson Cruz. It was an RBI single for him in his last plate appearance. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. That evens it up one and one. Fifth inning of play here in a 3 2 ball game. A ball and two strikes now. Another one sent foul. He'll try again one two. Tried to hold up there appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Here now the two two. Four foul balls in this A.B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Twins' D.H. You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher, but you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there, as this isn't even close for ball four. So a runner on first with one out now. And here's Donaldson. He's set. Here it comes. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. At the ball. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Three runs, eight hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. For short, hit hard. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. Now this rolls all the way to the wall. Now back, left fielder, Shohei. Shohei Otani digging in next. Out in front of it, strike one. Runners are at first and second with one away. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Back goes to Shields to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Here's Byron Buxton now. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Two down, runners at first and second. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. And he fouls this one off. The 0 2. Line toward the gap in left center. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get one if not both of them home. Now it's cut off a throw to the plate and not in time as the second run scores. Now batter the first baseman Miguel Gamora. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Bottom part of the zone and the slider is in there for a called strike. A two ball one strike count to the Twins first baseman. This is line to left and that's in there base hit now a long throw home. Play at the plate and he's out. A great throw. Leading off for the Indian, 
the captain. Roberto Perez. Standing in now, Roberto Perez. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. One of the biggest factors on how long you're going to go with a start is how many first pitch strikes you throw. 80% usually means you're going to have a pretty good day, and that's on the menu so far. And he pulled up in time, but it's a called strike two. A one and two count to the Indians catcher. Man, that's a good take there on that 0 2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. He started this guy backwards, a couple of off-speed pitches early, followed by back-to-back -back heaters. He can go either way he wants to go right now. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Delino. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Delino to Shields stands in as he looks at a cold strike. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Liner toward right center, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Into the box, Cesar Hernandez. And it's grounded just foul down the line. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The Shields breaks from the back. Pitch outside the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. One one pitch is a splitter called strike two. Pulled toward right center field. Buxton will range to his left and put it away. Two down. Digging in the switch hitter, Francisco Lindor. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Lindor. Trevor May, the 6'5 right-hander, takes over on the mound. First pitch on its way. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. The 1-0 is swung on and missed in that strike one. Down low, two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike, a count. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Ball even at 2 and 2. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Digging in, Jose Ramirez. One for two on his line so far in the game. I mean, what a diamond in the rough Jose Ramirez has been for Terry Francona and the Cleveland Indians. This guy burst on the scene in 2016. Just absolutely set that lineup on fire. They were looking for a guy to bail out Michael Brantley and the production they would miss from him in the lineup. And Jose Ramirez filled that admirably. And he struck him out. So a master... Stepping up to the plate, Mitch Garver. He set to lead us off in the sixth inning. Nick Whitgrim takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Your attention, please. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nope. Number 62. Nick. The 1 0. A swing and a miss, strike one. One ball, one strike. Into the corner and slicing foul. A 
Bouncer to the left side. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Aire Adrianza, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. The 1 0. Finds the zone, strike one. To third. And that's the second out. So stepping in, Luis Arias. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Here's the first pitch, chop foul right at home plate, and that's the first strike. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Count is one and two now. And now pitch on the way. Inside. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Count remains full. 5-2 is our score here in inning number six. Lifted in the air to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away and then... Next will be the cleanup hitter, Fran Moraes. He'll get the sixth inning started for Cleveland. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Grounded back up the middle. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. So now Carlos Santana, as he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. One ball and two strikes to count. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it. Two and two. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. So striding in, Josh Naylor hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fast. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Buxton is back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Ready for another chance? Jordan Luplo. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First pitch on its way. Oh, he just blows the fastball by him for strike one. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. In the dirt here. And a heads-up play to get back to first as he wisely hadn't gotten too far from the bag. The one-two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Digging in to try it again, Max Kepler. And he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. And he falls behind 0-2. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Here's Nelson Cruz now. Two base hits, both singles to this point.
First pitch of the at bat. Ball one. 5 2 our score as we play inning number seven. Now a swing and a deep drive to left, and it ain't coming back. Gone! Stepping in now, Josh Donaldson. He swings and grounds it to short. Scooped up. Throw on to first, two gone. Striding in once again, Shohei Otani. He flew out in his last at bat. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here, 0 and 1. Pulled toward right center field. Chasing after it is DeShields. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Now at the plate, Roberto Perez. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. The pitch. Roberto. Nope. Ball one. Perez. Tried to get the arms extended, but he couldn't. One and one. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Wow, was he looking to swing the bat right there. Check pitch on a swing. That ball wasn't even close to the zone. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. The better fielder, double, double zero. And here's the second generation Delano. big leaguer, Delino DeShields. No balls and a strike to count. The 0 and 1 delivery. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. When the pitcher on the mound's established in this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. And the throw is late at first, so they can't get anybody out. Now batter. The second baseman. Jacob. Turn again. To the plate now, Cesar Hernandez. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Ready with the 0-1. Well, well, the Indians have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now hey. sure would be a great time. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Check his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a looper to left. Coming in is Otani, but he won't get there. It falls in. He'll come home with it. And the runner scores from second as they cut away into that deficit here. It's now a 6-3 contest. Now batter. Good stop. Right to go. Tyler Clifford comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. And he doesn't want him to get off to a big lead out there at second, so he steps off to look him back. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. The 1-1 one, one home. Hey, you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination, and I'm eliminating the change up this next pitch. I'm on everything else. And it's fouled away. The one two gets him swinging. He struck him out. Ready for another shot now. Jose Ramirez. Now batting. Third baseman. Jose Ramirez. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Whoa, that's Don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that splitter again. He's looking for a double play, and that pitch certainly has enough depth on it to get him a ground ball. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Two and one to Jose Ramirez. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. 
he probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. The 2-1. Hey, every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. To the right side, and through a base hit. The Shields blows through the stop sign, headed for home. And not in time as the run scores. Now batting, the designated hitter. Into the box now, Fran Reyes. Yes, he'll try and hold off the swing, but this one's in there for strike one. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Fastball just missed above the zone. That's a great take right there. You knew the pitcher was going to try and expand the zone, 0-2 in a big spot, and he was able to spit on that one, hopefully get something in the heart of the plate this pitch. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Here now the 2-2. It was laid off, and the count runs full. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0-2 to, to work the count back. A dive, but it's off his glove. Throw not in time, and he beats it out for his third hit tonight. Up next to Cleveland, the first base player, Polo. So now to the plate, Carlos Santana. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Nowhere to put anybody. 2 0 count, not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And this gets down. Extra bases, and this could change everything. The tying run is into score from second. It's a 6 to 6 ball game. 10 O'Reilly takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. At the plate, Josh Naylor, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. A one pitch on its way. Breaking ball called just a bit low. You know, he just doesn't have command of where he's throwing the ball right now. I mean, that pitch was supposed to be on the outside part of the plate. And when you miss by that much, something's off. The one-two. Well, that's off the plate. Popped him up. Therefore, it is Donaldson, and there are two away now. Coming to the plate now, Jordan Luplo. No hits for him yet in the game, despite his team's offensive onslaught. Hoping to keep it tied, here it comes. Ready with the 0-1. Strike two, swinging just out in front of the slider. Man, I know this feeling, how frustrated this hitter is right now. A swing and a miss. That retires the... Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. First pitch coming, here it is. Now the 1-0. Is rope to left, a base hit. And a nice job to get the ball in quickly. He'll be held to a single here with nobody out. Number 22, Miguel. Standing in now, Miguel Sano. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. Two balls and no strikes to Miguel Sano. You thank your lucky stars when you get a chance to hit behind a guy with as much speed as he has on first base. The entire defense is on guard, and you know probably there's a fastball coming. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. 3-1 is a fastball, and he can't connect 3-2. and two. 
when you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Luplo is there to put it away for route number one. In now, Mitch Garver. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. First pitch on its way. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Comes set. Now the pitch. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Of course, there was a fastball. Oh, and they pulled the string on a good changeup there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and A. Ray Adrianza will be the next to bat. Oliver Perez enters the ball game out of the pen, looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. And that's in there for strike one. Jorge Polanco will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. 0-2. Oh Here it is. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him in the inning. Now to the plate, Roberto Perez. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. The captain, Roberto Perez. set and the pitch there's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike oh, he couldn't catch up with the gas that time oh I love this boys mano y mano he's coming to get him with back to back big time heaters got him and he goes down on strikes for the third time first pitch of the at bat Delino De Shields comes on with one away as he looks at a ball it's 1-0 Here's the pitch. Nope, that's the ball. That's a ball. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Three and two to the Indian center fielder. Takes this the other way to right. So he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. Number nine batter comes through that time as it'll now be up to the top of the order with one away. The batter, number seven, second baseman, Jacob Hernandez. At the plate now, Cesar Hernandez. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Hey. The ballman two strikes. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strike out here. So we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. So a runner at second, two down now, and with it comes Francisco Lindor to the plate. Matty, he checks every box. Charisma, smile, hits from both sides of the plate with pop, defense, you name it. GM's dream right here. Fouled off. The 1-1. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. A 1-2 pitch down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. From the stretch, the 
hit hard on the ground to second. And that's through a base hit to Shields. Heads for the plate. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Into the box, Jose Ramirez. Hit down the line at first. And this gets foul. It's 0-1. From the stretch. And he'll try to hold back on the pitch inside, but he pretty clearly broke the plane that time. It's strike two. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run, run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Now, oh my, this ball is crushed. Look at it go. And that one is gone. Into the box now, Fran Reyes. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Stepping in, Luis Arias. He'll try and lead things off here in inning number nine. Luis Arias. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. Perez is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. Here it comes, 1-0. Pulled toward right center field. Right fielder is on the run. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Stepping into the box, Max Kepler. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. And he lays off there, 1-0. Fouled away. Bounce to the right into the loaded up infield. Field it cleanly. Throw on to first will get him and the Twins are now down to their final out. Now it will be the Minnesota D.H. Nelson Cruz. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Yeah, that last at bat, Danny, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. First pitch on its way. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Naylor is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Yeah, they showed a lot of grit to get the win here. They trailed by four runs, but never panicked. They just set about doing the little things that would get them back into it. And the next thing you know, they're celebrating a well-earned victory. Nine to six, the final tally in this one. The Cleveland Indians came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Oliver Perez gets the W on the mound. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.